I'm headed back to Mississippi. I'm Georgia. I'm just taking y'all on a ride with me if you want to go. Blessings, blessings, bless up everybody. Bless up. It's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. And I'm rejoicing in it and in glad. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, y'all remember to pray for our prisoners in the Mississippi Department of Correction. Pray for all prisons. Pray for lower prison. A young mother that's in there, has been there a long time. And it's time for her to come home to her children. The Crockett Way, sister, I'm praying for your mother. Always, always, blessings, blessings. Not only pray for our children, our family, and the prison system, we must pray for one another. Because we don't know what's about to happen in this world. But you know, God said he has sent a sign. You pay attention. You better go read Revelation. If you haven't read Revelation, I advise you to read that Revelation so you know what the signs are when, when he's coming. Because uh, this could be a plague that's been put up on us by the Lord. You know? But anyway, um, I'm going to take y'all on this little ride back home. Like I say, pray for one another, love one another, bless somebody today. Do something kind. Because you never know when it might be your last time. So we love y'all. Come on, ride with me, y'all. I'm headed back to Mississippi from Georgia. Yeah, one time, one time. God is good. You know, this heat is good for the coronavirus. The hotter it gets, the less the coronavirus will be able to affect y'all. So, y'all, y'all, um, it's a good thing it's getting hot. So, I'm telling you, everything is crazy. All the stores are sold out. There's nothing in the stores on the shelves no more. Yeah, so after a while, they're going to have to shut the stores down. Because there ain't going to be no reason for them to be open. They'll go what they got. Ain't nobody going to want it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Just riding, riding, riding. Riding through West Georgia right now. West Georgia. West Georgia. It's beautiful out here. Beautiful. In uh, Villarica in Carrollton, Carrollton, Georgia. Over that way, they got some nice homes over there, nice little neighborhood. I, I like, it's just pretty, Georgia is just pretty, y'all. I like to see trees blooming, flowers blooming, weather is beautiful. And I feel blessed no matter what may be upon me. I just feel blessed in the name of Jesus. So I'm praying for everybody out there. I continue to keep everybody in prayer as always. I love y'all. And without y'all, I wouldn't be. I thank y'all for coming by. I thank y'all for smacking that button. Hit it, hit it, hit it for me. If you haven't hit it, hit it. Go back and hit it. I just thank y'all. Y'all see the Birmingham. Gonna go into Birmingham. I'll be going to Birmingham after a while. I hate to go to Birmingham because it's so rural. It's bad there. It's run down. Um, neighborhoods are run down. I, I, I know why they act the way they do in Birmingham. Because it's just like the hood for real. 
And when you talk about hood, hood, well, you got raggedy houses falling down all around you, and you still trying to re live there, and, and they still trying to let the house. For well, most places, tear those houses down. They don't let them houses sit up. If it's raggedy and it's falling down, it's got to go. But that's one thing about Alabama and Mississippi. They don't care if it's falling down or fell down. They'll still let, you, let it sit there. Well, that's just bringing down the value of property, you know? So that's why people trying to get where the value of property is, is, um, is great, you know? It, it, it won't um, drop. Cause I, I wouldn't want my value if I'm buying a nice house. I want my, want my baby to drop. So, anyway, but uh, traffic off the change, you know, going back toward Georgia. I guess, I don't know where all these people would be going when Georgia is pretty much closed down. Why would they be out? You know, that's why the coronavirus is spreading, because people are hard here. They ain't got sitting up to sit their dumb butts in the house. Stay in the house. If you ain't got to get out, why are you out? You just want to be out the house, just being nosy. Stay in the house. Stop spraying that shit. It's beautiful over there, beautiful home. On the lake, on the lake. I used to live on the lake, but where I was living at, um, I was actually around a lot of uh, pressure people and I just couldn't take it no more so I had to leave. But anyway, and I got to a, a nice a spot with makers, you know. So I'm straight. I'm peaceful. Ain't nothing around me to get on my nerves. No neighbors like that, you know. So every day is a blessing. 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 Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, y'all. I feel good this morning. Hope everybody else is feeling just as good as I am. Because I feel blessed. I'm well. I feel blessed. Well, I feel blessed. I'm way up, I feel blessed, yes, I feel blessed, yes, oh yes, so I'm on my little journey back home, y'all, I enjoy my long vacation with my daughter, Dr. Bridge Hubbard, and she gave me, as always, the best life, she always makes sure I live my best life when I'm with her, and I thank God for that, you know, you do, Dr. Hub! <laughs> but anyway, Dr. Hub, yes, she does. She makes sure everybody lives their best life when they wear her. So, yeah, she even tries to get her aunties and uncles to come, but they, they so stuck in, in the Mississippi life, they afraid to leave. Don't know how to enjoy life. But I'm going to enjoy life because you only get one. You only get one. And when it's gone, ain't nothing that you can do. So while I'm here, I'm enjoying life. I love my grandkids, and I try to be, spend time with them. Oh, Lord, Georgia's now got 64 cases of corona. Jesus, it went from 48 to 64. 64 cases now of corona in Georgia. My, my, my. And see, that's what I'm trying to say. These people out. Why are y'all out? You don't have to be out because there ain't nothing going on. It's nothing going on. Georgia is shutting everything down. There's nothing going on. So why are you being out? You just want to be nosy. You want to be out spreading that shit. Stay your asses in the house. Excuse me. I don't mean to cuss, but I'm getting upset. That's why I got to go home. Because I can't afford to catch that. I got a weak immune system, y'all. And I can't afford to get sick. I got loved ones that love me, and I got to make sure they straight. Yes, yes. But anyway, y'all, y'all see it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. 
Beautiful day from God. Beautiful day from God. You better recognize him. If you don't know God, you better get to know him today because I'm telling you. And go read Revelations in the Bible. If you got a, a Bible, King James Version of the Holy Bible, pick it up and read Revelations. And it'll tell you about all this plague, disease, and famine. Famine that's going to be going on. And right now, we in a plague. So, go read that Bible. It tell you what really going to happen in the last days. I pay attention. I'm glad I know God. I'm glad my mama taught me about God a long time ago. When I was a little girl, she made sure we was going to church and she took us to church. She didn't just send us to church, but she went right along with us. So, y'all, read the Bible. Don't get scared of it because that's just life. And people say, Revelations is scary. Revelations is just a book. It's just life. Read it. It's God's way of warning you and telling you what's going to happen. So if you scared of what God going to do, well, what, what you going to do when it come? You better get to know this man. And stop running around here acting like you, you, you wake yourself up in the morning. Acting like you, you take care of yourself every day and you make, make it possible for the things you have. No, it's all God. Ain't nobody but him. So, y'all be blessed. We still rolling on our way from Georgia to Mississippi. I'll come back in a little while. I'm out for right now. Love somebody. Bless somebody. Tell somebody you love them on this day. Be kind to one another. I'm out. Beep, beep.